Hello, I'm Entrissim and welcome to Let's Look at All Walls Must Fall, which is a game set in a kind of future dystopian Berlin where the Cold War never ended and, well, it's all about to go badly wrong. Uh, it's currently in a massively pre-alpha state, like this is basically a demo build that the devs have put together. Um, it is not available to the public just yet, they are doing a Kickstarter right now, so if you want to, you know, kick things, the link is down below. It's better to kickstart games than to kick puppies or whatever. I totally support the former, not the latter. Um, that said, it is a Kickstarter, so Kickstarters are, you know, be wary, but whatever, it's, it's a Kickstarter. I'll go check it out. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a little play of it. To bear in mind that, yes, this is, like, totally a demo build that's really, really pre-alpha. There will be missing animations all over the place, placeholders, probably bugs, but it will give you an idea of the gameplay. It's basically like a kind of weirder version of XCOM with a real-time element and also a mechanic for retroactively going, I did a stupid move, I should undo that. Um, which is actually built into the very base game. It's basically a, uh, a core f foundation of the mechanics. Which, you know, would be great in XCOM because I screw up all the time. But we're going to start a new campaign. And yes. And yeah, the controls are really simple as well. Establishing connection. What we may be witnessing is not just the end of the Cold War or the passing of a particular period of post-war history, but the end of history as such. 1989. What we have experienced is not just everlasting Cold War and total surveillance by cross-temporal communication, but an entrapment in this deadly love. 2089. Dun-dun-dun! Berlin, 2089. The Cold War never ended. Yet the end lies ever close. Will this be the last time? <laughs> you have been redirected to minus 10 hours. There has been a catastrophic event. Your agent awaits you. Your mission is to kill Dragon Moolah. Why would I do that? Don't worry, we will get then. We will get then there. Left click somewhere to move there. Uh, bear in mind, look at this at the bottom. I'm gonna ignore you now. Uh, this pause bar... Bing! We keep losing score every time this pause bar runs out, so... Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Bing! If we move, that doesn't happen. Basically, these are time units. If you're wasting time, you start to lose score, effectively, is what it is. But you can also use it in the game to do stuff like, uh, go backwards in time. And of course, it runs out as time passes. So now we can either force this door in front of the guard, which is a bad idea, or we can talk to the guard. Let's talk to the guard. You look like trouble. Luckily, this is one part of the game where, you know, I can just sit here for like ages and talk to you and that's not counting down. Scared, angry, flirty, disgusted, respectful, critical. So this is how like the conversation system works. You have to try and get one of these green bars to 100% to convince him to let you in. Either you intimidate him or you like respectfully convince him or you flirt with him and he's like, sure, you can go in and I'll meet you later for a drink. And I'll be like, sure, totally, I won't shoot you. Um, if one of these gets to 100%, however, yeah, it's fighting time. You look like trouble. Not as troubled as your childhood. You're damn right I do. Going for the scared there. You look like you'd like some trouble, flirty. Sure, but I won't cause any for you. Uh, let's go flirty. You look like you like some trouble. So, Flirty went up, Critical went up as well, though. So, well, I guess Critical went down, since the bar technically goes down. Whatever. I don't care what you say, nor how you look apparently. Well, no. Uh, good thing I'm here to dance, not talk, but I have all the answers. You will care what I do if you don't let me in. That's going for Scared. Um, sure, I'll buff Scared a little bit. You need to move along. Maybe we can talk more later. Flirty? Yeah! You seem like fun, going in. Oh yeah. And so I've been uh, allowed access. There's a few more guards up here. Just gonna try and walk past them, hopefully. And we have to look for... Aha, a door. So you see that our score went up, and then... As we investigate new areas. So we need to find Dragon Moolah, who's hiding in a locked room. That's a lot of guys wandering around this place with, like... Just like boxes on. Uh, you've got briefs. Okay, fair enough. Uh, briefs and a vest top. 
actual fashion in this period is weird. That said, did anyone see like the the whole jeans thing the other day? Like, oh look, there are these new pairs of jeans. That is an interesting mosh pit. Um, with windows for your knees. I don't think we can talk about fashion to the future. Although if that really does take off as some sort of fashionable choice in 2089 or something, I... <sighs> well, it truly is the darkest timeline, let's put it that way. Uh, I have no idea what this tiny room is for, but it's got a sofa in it. Sure. That's a nice bar there. Let's go explore up here. It's like weird art deco. And... Lots of columns. I assume they aren't broken, it's just it's cutting them off for visibility. Either that or there are a lot of broken columns here for some reason. At least exploring gets us a lot more score, which is nice. Oh, that is a locked room. Well, let us sidle up to the locked room. We can either force it and get into a fight, or we can hack it. Hack it costs 50. I'm going to force it open. Now you're in combat mode. Now it's him. Get him. So we can do a tap or an aim shot. A tap will stun. So you notice that this guy is now stunned. Let's go name shot for damage. But then this icon appears under us. I'm going to just let this run out. We're not going to be getting the best score. This means that we're going to get shot. You see this, like, thing here? That is his bullet heading towards us. If we stay where we are, we are going to get hit. So let's move to the side. And then... Aim. And then another tap. Right, you're down. And then, in theory, we can... Move in. If I if I go for a tap, I can't. No, no line of sight. Ah. If I tap shot. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit if I stay there. So move. But he's stunned from the tap shot. So then we can just like line up or not, because I don't have line of sight. Tap shot again. Aim shot. And then it plays you the fight back, which is really nice actually. I'd love to say this about like XCOM a few times. It'd be nice in XCOM if you could do this. Look at that. Bro. Target down. Get back to your car. Okay, well, I'm going to reload first of all. And then I'm going to groove. Press F to dance. Cause it's thriller! Anyway. That hurt my headphones. Uh, which way? Do we go this way? I think we went this way. Hello. Nothing to see here. You didn't hear anything. They didn't hear anything because apparently our pistol is silenced, which is nice. And... Hello! Okay, I'm gonna tap shot you. Ah, uh, you've been alerted. Excellent, that's brilliant. Um, I'm gonna tap shot you. And then I have to move to here. Tap you again, but you're already dead. Oh, no! Ah, there we go. Your regiment's hit, you can undo, press A. So, by moving there, I should have not moved there, because it said there was a problem with moving there. I got hit. However, there is a mechanic for undoing this. Press A. I lose some points, but... We're now backwards in time. Okay, can I can move anywhere? There. Okay, reload. Move. Oh. Ah! Tap. Murder. No line of sight. Take the opportunity to reload then. Still no line of sight. Tap. Aim. Tap will do. There we go. Let's play that back. That's going to look interesting. Yeah, he got shot by his own dude, I think. And that guy dies. Look at the the terrain, by the way. Look at the like the building getting like bits blown off it. There we go. I kind of like this destructible terrain command mechanic. It does look really kind of nice. That said, like you know, massively pre-alpha, but that looks pretty nice right now. Uh, let's get in the turbo trabby and exfiltrate. Oh, I've got to go on this side. Okay, not British driving, obviously. Uh, so, 
Mission completion bonus, we've got 1,000. Time resource remaining, 920. So we've got almost 2,000 time resource currency to spend. Click on the shop to buy weapons and time travel abilities. Okay. So we can get like new weapons. We can get uh, weapon slots to unlock. Time ability, undo. We can also get rewind and trace back. I actually have no idea what these do. And if you click on them, they say just trace yourself back. Rewind the world. I think we want a new weapon. Let's get the rifle. Just because I want to try a new weapon. <laughs> Let's switch to that. Okay, primary weapon, rifle. Done. Super powerful. And apparently not like super noisy, which I'll take. Let's go to the Schlashtoff. Schlashtoff? Schlashtoff? Schlicht? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go here. Get three pieces of info from bartenders. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's interview some bartenders. Connection established. Okay, we've got to collect info from bartenders. The door is locked. That guy again? What for? I already killed him. Not yet. Let me worry about the paradoxes. Okay, um, let's do an aim shot. Reload. We've only got one shot on the rifle, which is annoying. But I did get hit. We're gonna undo that. Oh, nope. We're gonna undo that. I don't wanna get shot. It's too early to get shot. Yeah, I'm gonna get shot if I do that. There we go. And step to the side. And reload. So apparently there's a time paradox going on involving Dragon Mueller. Uh, let's force the door open rather than hacking it. Hi. Woohoo! That's a lot of bullets. Hi. I'm gonna reload now, buying cover. Oh, they blew the door off. And move to the side, move to the side, move to the side. Okay, and then we can head back in. Right, what's behind door number? Reload my rifle. One! Okay, load of bounces in there. Oh, the, the bartenders. Bartenders. Yeah, when you speak to bartenders. Hello. Go on, leave. Your identification, citizen. Nine. Yeah. Do you know who I am? You're a clown. Okay, we've got quite good stats up here, but the critical's getting a bit high. I want your boots, your shirt, and your jacket. I only want to know what you want. Sure, let's try flirty. Want to do something fun? Hi, bartender. No, the answer is no. Shut up already. Let's... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Your identification, citizen. Do we look like how to you? You know who I am. No, let's undo that. Right. So we can also use the undo in conversations to try and avoid angering this guy. Uh. Do I know you? Really? Do you know who I am? I'm not your servant. You better do precisely as I say it when I say it. Understood? Nice talking to you. There we go. He knows nothing. Okay, so that is not the button I want to talk to. Hello, beautiful. Okay, right. Uh, let's talk to you. Um, do I know you? Whatever you say, boss. Do you precisely want to say what I say? Okay. Um, of course. <laughs> I heard your mum has her own Soviet sector. 
You know who I am. He knew nothing either. Why do you even talk to me? When can you get out of here? You seem nice. Pedrimon has their own French sector. Bullshit. Uh, I don't know what to know what you want. Do you know anyone around here? Do I know you? Do I know you? Let's get respectful. There we go. You knew nothing either. Okay. This guy is highlighted. Is that for a reason? Why'd you even talk to me? I think you're right. Do you know who I am? There we go. Max out respectful. You knew nothing either. Okay, let's hack open the door. We're gonna hack. Make it nice and subtle. You think that's wise? Of course I think it's wise. Okay, that just seems to be like an empty room with a guy in it, which obviously is not the best idea. Oh, we did actually get info from Bartender. One of them did actually have info for us. Okay, let's find some more. Oh, hello, hello. Yep, please move aside. I'm here on important time traveling business. Right. Hello. No, the answer is no. Do precisely what I say when I say it. Respect, bro. You know who I am. Do I know you? There we go. That should max it out. Nice talking to you. Got info. Sweet. Mozart in British sector. You know who I am. Do you know who I am? You're cool. Hey, smell my finger. You knew nothing. Jon Snow. No, the answer is no. You know how this ends. Let's scare him a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm apparently flirting. You're a hothead, aren't you? Apparently he likes hotheads. Um, you know who I am? I want you. You're alone here, huh? Got info. Oh, sweet. Right, that's that was it. Let's get back to the car. Which which way did I leave the car? I can't remember which direction I left the car in. Also, exploring gets us points, so... Okay, the car was in the other direction. I could have gone left or right, and I went with right. One in two chance. Actually, no, it is this way. It's just further up. I have to go all the way back here. Okay. See? I was right all along. Let's eke out a little bit more score by... Uh, if I... I have to force that door. I don't want to force the door. Oh, yeah. We kill everyone at the front. Oh, no. There's more people now. Okay. Hello. I'd like to fight you. No, that will get me shot. Oh, dear. No, that will get me shot as well. That will get me shot. That will get me shot. I can go back here. Did I get shot there? Yes, I did. I don't think there's actually a move I can do. Okay. When can I get a shot in? No, don't do that. I think I'm outrunning bullets right now. No, nope, can't. I know I could go for a tap, but one aim shot will get me the kill. Just need to get one shot in. There we go. Now I just need to get a reload in. But with half the number of bullets coming at me. Mm. 
There we go. Beautiful. And with that, we get in the Turbo Travi. Nice. Mission complete. Okay, and a few more missions have opened up. And of course, we can go to the shop and we can buy more stuff. I think what we'll do is we'll probably end the Let's Look at there. Um, it is currently Kickstarter. There'll be a link down below to go check out if you want to check it out. Bear in mind, Kickstarters are Kickstarters. But then again, I think this is more reliable than some of the Kickstarters I've backed before. Uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, so look out for this. Check it out if you want. I think it's planning on coming out like later this year. So, might be coming back to it then. But if you've liked, like, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you like about the game and whether you want me to cover it in future. But until next time, I've been Nate Relisium, and stay shiny.